Usually, as she has just pointed out, I'm the one, right, that'll go out and meet. Like, okay, cool. And usually, I'm the one that responds on the emails as well. And I love those too, because the goal is to move to a whole other country and then saturate yourself around those that are from the country that you came from. Right. I mean, you could essentially just stay where you were. Right. right? And so I'm gonna end this video before yes. <laughs> too much recklessness is said. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, it's getting awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of uh, Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., back again for another video. And we also have the oh so lovely Crystal Jones. Yes, again. And so, in this video, we'll be talking and reflecting with you about the challenges that we've had about making friends in a foreign country, which we are doing this because of what we said in the comments, as well as just to help people that may be looking to make this move, or for those that are here, and how and ways in which you can embrace those who have actually made the move. So we'll talk a little bit about those type reflections, but then as well, we'll share like five different places and spaces of where we've came in contact with people yes. that inevitably became friends as well as family, right? But nonetheless, as I will reflect on uh, the challenges of making friends, it's been interesting, right? Largely because friends are people that you most often grow up with right. who you've had in your life for long periods of time that has experienced your highs your lows you've been able to pour into their life they've been able to pour into your life and you get to see like various aspects of their lives however when you like uproot your family or uproot yeah essentially your family and move to another <laughs> right. or foreign country it's like man unless your friends are moving with you you have to reestablish one what you call a friend, right? Because I think that was one of the things that we even talked about. Like, huh, the way you, <laughs> the people that you name it, you know what I'm saying? But other lesson at all, there's that aspect of it. But then too, it, it just, it opens you up to the very fact of like, there could be, I say could, because everybody's different. There could be a faster way of making friends. Mm. So, you know, we'll even tap into that. But even as we intro this, as we reflect, how has it been for you? Um, Which I'm, I'm excited about her answer because <laughs> of who she is and her thoughts behind friends. Yeah, I I went. I don't call everybody my friend. Mm -hmm. That is not my thing. Um, but I would say meeting people in general actually hasn't been hard. Yeah. Uh, people have been very kind. Very true. Everything like that. So it's actually been pretty easy yeah. uh, to meet people. And I think that's just because of our intentionality mm -hmm. behind maybe building community. And so I think that helps. And yeah. then also we are out, we are about, we go to church, we go meet up with different people and stuff like that. And we'll get into more about how we meet mm -hmm. people we know a little later. But I think just because our intentionality, we're not always just at home. Right. No, that definitely helps. And even in that and with that, um, as you were talking, that something had came to mind. But then uh, <laughs> when you stopped, I was like, oh, snap. It's my turn. <laughs> uh, that happens. Right. Um, but yes, I do take the word friend seriously. I don't call everybody my friend. So I would even say even in the people that I'm meeting here, mm -hmm. there's different levels to the various community uh, that we have. And so maybe I, I know I'll probably speak a lot from just building community yeah. in this video. Um, Cause even we've been here like eight months now. And so for me to call somebody a friend after only knowing them eight months, even that's a little stretch for me. <laughs> I feel like, you know, you just, we gotta go through some things, not bad things per se, but I just need multiple opportunities to see your character and who you are before I'm really like saying friend, because once I call somebody a friend, I'm, a, I'm here, I got your back, like, I'm riding for you. So yeah, that's, that's probably the thing, but definitely just in building community, because yeah. sometimes even you feel like, no, I'm good with my core friends, but I don't want to just be sitting by myself because I moved to a new country. Mm -hmm. So even we'll be able to touch on just how to build that community nice. in general. That's a nice way of even changing the word to fit 
uh, the nomadic lifestyle, right? Because yeah. not always are you able to make friends in the time span that you have in a place or a space. However, you can create or even be a part of community that may have already been developed or that is developing as I believe it's being done here in South Africa. However, the thought that I had is that now, you know, being in the States, I don't know, I'm sure you did, but I know for myself growing up, I came in contact with people that had moved to the States from other countries, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And oftentimes they would be left out or kind of like to themselves or weren't able to fit in. But now being that person on the other side, right mm -hmm. being in a whole other country in this case as an american it gives yeah. me the perspective of oh man like let me be more uh available let me be more mm -hmm. attentive let me be more responsive to the people that are new to various environments just new in general and on top of that especially those that have moved to a foreign country like there's a loneliness feeling right there's that yeah. feelingness of feeling like you're not in your comfort zone so like you're wondering you're trying to find different things that you're accustomed to or used to um you're away from family friends so it's like all of those feelings going about your every day i'm now understanding right all that to yeah. say i'm more understanding of how people feel when they do make moves or when they go to foreign countries so you know as i reflect on the fact of making friends i'm also thinking of how i would do things a little bit differently uh given the opportunity to be in the states and somebody move from a foreign country mm, to the okay, states okay. or as i would just pray and hope people would do as we you know maneuver and move about this here world however those are my reflections. you have any more reflections that you want to drop before we give the five different ways in which we've made community? Yeah, I mean, I would say, like, I'm not. Ricky is very much a people's person. Yeah. Like, he loves oh, to go spend time with people and all this. Yeah. And I care about people. However, I am, like, the opposite end of that stick. Okay. <laughs> In the sense that's, like, I'm not, I don't just have friends, like all these friends. I have very intentional relationships mm. um, in my life. And so I know for me, when I meet people and I don't know where to place them in their intentionality for the season that I'm in, I kind of will pull back. Mm. Um, and so for those of you who are like myself, right. there's a uh, we're here. Right. There's <laughs> we're a here. Yeah. And there's hope for community for you as well. Yeah. And so, yeah, so I think that's cool because we'll be able to give just a wide range of spectrum regardless of who's watching the video. No, I love that. <laughs> I love that you said that also oh beautifully well, which you usually do. <laughs> Probably because of your beauty that I get to enjoy <laughs> on a regular basis, <laughs> my dear. However, five different ways in which we've come here and created community, uh, met friends, met people. Uh, that we as well call our community, our friends, our tribe, our people. Uh, the first one is, believe it or not, through YouTube, right? Because, yeah. hey, we're on YouTube. Therefore, because of that, people will leave comments of, hey, we should meet up or we should connect or people will email us, right? And uh, which is very cool. It's always amazing. It's always cool to read various emails of people sharing different information with us or wanting to meet up with us, right? Usually, as she has just pointed out, I'm the one, right, that'll go out and meet. Like, okay, cool. And usually, I'm the one that responds on the emails as well. But nonetheless, in it all, like, it's a fun way. And not yeah. only is it a fun way for us to come in contact with people as they reach out to us, but even us reaching out to other people. That's how yeah. we came in contact with Dr. Asad. Uh, that's how we came in contact with... I mean, all the YouTubers, right? That you see, right. or have seen us uh, connected with on the YouTube channel. It's because of us reaching out, right? Yeah, I'm just even thinking through. Yeah, we reached out to all of them. And I would say, even with that, yeah. Um, one of the things that helps with that, <laughs> just because I know, you know, if people start sending emails like, "Hey, well, let's be friends," um, mm -hmm. not that that's a bad thing. But one of the things that helps is if there is like a commonality. True. And so for 
some of the time the commonality is hey we all moved here from the u.s even if it's from a different state That's a good we start. moved here from the u.s and so we have that commonality and then there's a lot of conversations that start off in helping just trying to help each other navigate mm -hmm. um different things that yeah. you have to do when moving to another country yeah now us all being from the states is not enough to make us friends so we're not all necessarily the relationship doesn't always continue necessarily and not that it ends in a bad way but it just doesn't always continue to flourish um sometimes because well ricky and i have kids and so maybe we're being invited to places and it's always something where we can't bring kids so the relationship kind of fizzles out because <laughs> like well we have our kids mm -hmm. and ricky's not gonna always leave me at home i'm not gonna always leave him and so sometimes that's a thing mm -hmm. so there's there's that commonality that factor and i would say when it even comes to making friends once you move abroad it's helpful when there's a commonality um again it can start with hey we both moved here from the same place but normally what will help anchor that is something that goes beyond that very true no, i love that well said well done. I mean, you, you, you're two for two, you know what I'm saying, so far. But in it all, with it all, I would say the number two way in which we've grown to create community is through online groups, right? So what do I mean by that? On Facebook, there are multiple online groups, either of expats that have traveled or live abroad, right, in general. There are Facebook groups for people who have specifically moved to South Africa. Yeah. There are even uh, Facebook groups, shouts out to Kaia and that she has a Facebook group relocate with Kaia where others who have relocated to South Africa or look to relocate to Johannesburg or South Africa, we can commune and talk amongst one another. And it's cool because I see various groups here in Johannesburg that have met up, that are doing different things, doing hikes and so forth and so on, having right. dinners and things like that. Like, I love it. Why? Because it gives us like a network. It gives us a community. Yes. It gives us people that we can bounce things off of that Crystal just talked about um, with the initial, hey, we're all Americans in a sense that could gather. But then as well, like a lot of the groups do offer like intertwining of mm -hmm. those that have moved over as well as those that are here, right? And I love those too because the goal is to move to a whole other country and then saturate yourself around those that are from the country that you came from I right mean, you could essentially just stay where you were right. right it's the goal should be to intermingle with those within the country as well as have friends that have commonalities of yourself and so that's a good way so if you are looking to make the move then look just i was about to say google it but go on facebook and on the search button right type in groups of people that are moved to south africa just type in whatever group speaks to who you are as a person and i'm sure there is a group that you can join and be a part of and then you can start forging those connections, start asking for information and just get you on the, you know, cusp of creating that community that you may want. Yeah, I agree. Your own shaka laka. And so I obviously I'm in the groups. My dear, she's not in the groups, but I mean, we've already. I was in one group. On Facebook. Oh, there's also groups on <laughs> WhatsApp too. Yeah, right? I, was in, on WhatsApp. I was in one group, but I left the group. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and it, it was just too many messages. It was too much going on for me personally. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I don't even talk on this group. I'm going to head out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I ended up in the group because someone that I met knew someone else that was in the group. That And they were like, hey, I can put you in the group. Mm -hmm. So that's a cool way as well. Like Ricky said, like you'll meet different people and they will yep. link you with other people yep. to put you a part of different groups and things. Yeah, well said. And so it's not just Facebook, all that to say, that groups are created, but as well as WhatsApp. So if you don't have WhatsApp and you're looking to make the move over, make sure you get it. And the beautiful thing about the WhatsApp group that Crystal was invited to is that it was a mix. It was mm -hmm. a mix of people, of what really was women, a group of women that have found their home here in South Africa. As and well so, as women that live 
that are from South Africa. Correct. So, yeah. Boom. And so all of those together, which was a phenomenal core group of women. And, uh, you know, if you were to surf through YouTube videos, I'm sure you'll come in contact with such gatherings of the women. But all that to say, yeah. there are groups that you can for create and form a community with. So number three, what would you say? Um, as far as where? Yep, where and how can you create community? So, for I mean, us, a big thing is church. Boom, <laughs> so, um, I serve mm -hmm. at our church, and let me say this in general, if you go to church, serving is important because that is one of the best ways you're going to be able to make community, mm -hmm. not just going and leaving, but actually being a part of a ministry at your church. I serve in the coffee shop, so mm -hmm. it's a very fun ministry to serve in, and they're intentional about us having time to talk and everything. So that's where I've definitely met some of the people that I could even call a friend that like we joke and we talk and they know what's going on in, our li in my life, and I know what's going on with them, and we're yeah. encouraged to pray for each other, and just all of that but they are very intentional about us literally having like I think it's like 20 to 30 minutes before our serve time mm -hmm. um, that we do just sit and talk hey how you been oh I've met their kids they've seen Ricky and my kids like so yeah it's it's fun I think church is a really great way to meet people boom shakalaka and I've even met people through church as well people is a stretch a person uh, <laughs> through church as well Shouts out to Homo, right? Shouts out to Homo Lee. He was a stretch. Uh, I met him going to a men's ministry event. And so, you know, I've had my stories as it pertains to joining a ministry at the church. I got to get him plugged I'm not in. Doing, I mean, it'll happen, right? It'll happen. But in it always, it all. Church is a phenomenal way. And you never know, right? You never know. But the fun thing about church is that you are connected about with people that have faith as yourself. Which, yeah. you know, whatever faith that you practice, faith is strong. Faith should be anchored in who you are and what you do in your everyday walking about life. So having a community within your faith, phenomenal, right? So that's number three. So yeah. number four we talked about was school, right? Yes. And so we can do it on both sides because you spent some time in the school down here, um, you know, learning and growing, right? Yeah. And um, also on the side of with kids, your community is yeah. going to grow because your kids in school, well, if your kids are in school, they're going to have friends. Right. And because they have friends. You meet the their parents. friends. Correct. They're going to want to have play dates. It's a big thing down here. And you're going to meet parents. And as you meet parents, they could become a part of your community yeah. um, or not, right? It could be something that the kids love each other and spend like spending time with each other and they'll do that. However, in our case, we're very involved with our kids, right. uh, obviously. And so as our kids play with various other kids, we're also talking with the parents, right? right. Uh, which I think is good. I think it's good to talk to the parents because it gives you an idea of the type of child essentially uh, that is spending time with your child right. and so if some things were to come up at your household because their yeah. child is spending time exactly you know and it's like you know so you know use that cheat code at the end of the day but school is a beautiful way as well to grow the community as well as allow for the kids to grow in all that they are and the community that they form and so it's cool except especially having like rain have her you know friends and i hear their names yes. and it's like oh look at you saying south african dance and saying so smooth right and ricky too and like it's just cool it's, overall it's that part it definitely I love for the is. kids yeah, and I know even just meeting people at school and stuff, like, yeah. I've met this, the funniest people mm. <laughs> uh, at school that, no, I really, I love them. We chat and talk, and it, it's fun. It's super fun. Yeah. But school, again, is a great way to meet people, and again, it mm. comes down to there's a, a base there for yeah. a common goal or mm -hmm. a commonality. So, you know... If you meet somebody, you're in school for English or whatever, 
and you meet people in the English department, well, all y'all love English, if nothing else. Mm. And so it's just a launch pad yeah. um, for you guys to be able to get to know each other more. I dig it. And so last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the fifth way we've been able to grow our community as well as to come in contact with friends is just going about our everyday life, right? And so essentially, you all know the building that we live in. We've already shared it. And with it, you come in contact with people all the time, mm -hmm. right? You can't go through the lobby without shaking hands with at least two people and I already have like two people names in mind I'm not gonna say their names because I want you to do what you do if you were to find yourself in this building however I can't go through the lobby without shaking their hands them asking about my family asking how I'm doing asking where's crystal and at first it was like throwing me off because I'm like hold on now why are you asking about my wife <laughs> Cause these are men uh but then i realized that's just the way that's the culture and i love that about the people here i love that about the way here i love that because it's it's attentive it's attentive to the unit that we are as a family but then as well as the extension of who i am and so i love it i've learned to embrace it i learned to answer it without thinking nothing right uh but at the same time even at the gym i've met people which usually when i go to the gym i'm meeting people in general, mm -hmm. anywhere I go, I'm talking to people, right? It is what it is. If I make eye contact with you, I'm saying hello, Conversation right? Started. And if, if your hello is strong enough, I'm starting a conversation and we're going from there. And so I meet people in the gym all the time. I've done that here as well. And even as I go to the stores and things like that, I'm meeting people. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them friends because of maybe right. the interaction may not be long enough for that or as routine enough. But nonetheless, just walking around, saying hello, um, and just being courteous to people. Even down yeah. in the deli, uh, down in the laundry area, I would say they my friends, they my people. Uh, they teaching me uh, uh, Zulu, easy Zulu, right? I'm gonna be correct. That's my rain wood as well. Yeah. I was about to say, they taught me how to say thank you. It was kind of like Salbona, but uh, I forgot it. I'm gonna have to go mm. back down there today. But nonetheless, okay. you know, they <laughs> teach me easy Zulu, right? And so, all that to say, if you are friendly, you can yeah. uh, find yourself making friends, right? And I mean, that's the saying, right? Uh, if you want to be or have friends, present yourself as friendly and be friendly to others. So, yeah. you know, those are other ways that I have been able to grow the community that we have. And I would say one of the things that's also important is know where to put people in your community. Okay. Everybody's not necessarily going to be your friend and mm. that's okay some people are just going to be an associate mm. there's nothing wrong with the word associate no. or acquaintance like these are still valuable spaces that people can hold in your life and i think sometimes when people move abroad they have a challenge making friends because they expect people to be like their best friend since they've known since four years old mm. and it's like well no they just met you mm. <laughs> you know and so it's okay to allow relationships to grow and yeah. develop into something more and it's also fine to know when it's like okay because of whatever your core values our beliefs are we're going to be acquaintances we're you know mm -hmm. or associates and that's fine and it's going to stay there but we can enjoy what this is yeah like don't try to convince somebody to be something or do something else because then that's just gonna frustrate the relationship. Just let relationships exist in the pockets that they should and believe that the relationships that you desire will come along, you know, as time continues, as time progresses. Yeah. So I would say, yeah, just be okay with knowing there's different levels and different spaces um, that can all exist in community that are very healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I dig that and all that to say, uh, in the midst of the quote-unquote challenges that we have shared, there's also ways of victory and triumph on the other end. I've met some phenomenal oh, people yeah. here, uh, people globally, right? I've met people from the States, obviously. I've met people from South Africa. I've met people from Zimbabwe. And uh, I think that's it. I was about to say Botswana, but... That might have been Instagram. But all that to say, like, I've met people and they've been some phenomenal oh, people. Yeah. And, um, you know, and on the other side, I met people that I met them and that's the end of that, right? <laughs> that's the end of that. But it's, it's like that. We all yeah. know people where it's like that. But all that to say, if you are looking to make the move or even if you are here, wherever here is, wherever your country is, where people are moving to, all I say is, if you see somebody that has made the move, 
reach out, right? Reach out and say hello. Just see how yeah. they're doing. See if there's anything that you can do to give them comfort or to make their life a little bit easier because they're kind of like fish out of water, right? They're flapping, trying to make it happen and bars. And at the end of the day, uh, they are just trying to do what they need to do to enjoy the life that they live and the days that they have or fulfill the mission that they are on. So all that to say, at the end of the day, you can make friends yeah. You can have community and you can come in contact with people that will make your days in your new country or your new space greater. And all that to say, great people, we love you all. Yeah. If you have any questions about what was said or what was shared, obviously you can let us know in the comment section below. And uh, We ooh. love people. We're I, here I and we love do. when we go out yeah. and yeah. we get to meet people yeah. organically. And these are some ways that you can also organically meet people. Boom shakalaka. So, as she did it so eloquently <laughs> i will put a period on that and i will tell you all i'll see you in the next video love you peace i do want to say this isn't a video requesting for friends <laughs> i do i don't know if this say. will make it in the video or not but at the end of the day what did but i say today? i think i think and well like i said earlier it's not to say like hey send us a bunch of emails yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need friends but it's just helping people that have moved abroad, mm -hmm. that are looking for a community, know some ways to find community. Yeah. I will definitely say I love organic community. And so for some of you who are amazing people who may have reached out via DM and Instagram and TikTok and said, let's hang out and I haven't jumped on that. I am very particular <laughs> um, about building intentional community that's that's generally the type of relationships that i build so it's not a finger at anybody if i don't respond one i'm not the best with responding ricky is the one that responds he's mm -hmm. the responder mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> for us and then i would even say too like if you don't have kids like it can already make it a challenge. I'm like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna talk about? Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, like you said, it's not that we're like begging for friends, but- So we're not. We're not, not no, like we're, we're not. not. We're not. We're not. Right, we have a great community. Yeah. And I believe that as people come over, as people speak to us and reach out to us and things like that, it'll grow organically. Yeah, and So that's sometimes it just clicks. Right. And so we like it when it just, it just clicks. There it just it works. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm going to end this video before yes. <laughs> too much recklessness is said. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, it's getting awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, right? It's like, what are you saying? What are you doing?